Copeland Bible, Book 5, Chapter 30. What if? Could this be referring to the invasion of Israel by Babylon? Part 2. MAN 3022. Such is the state of the land wherein your servant dwells. It is a land of sorrow. It is a time of tribulation. When Thumas came to me with your letter, my heart grew big with gladness, for it told me you had reached a secure mooring. My heart spoke to my spirit and said, Where in the land is left another such as he, one who judged with impartiality, whose head never inclined towards a bribe, who ever stood firm for truth, who saved the lowly man from the oppression of the powerful, and the humble man from the hard hand of the arrogant. Such men no longer serve in the land. MAN 3023 I am one who is instructed, and therefore I know that the life of each man has a set span. And from this knowledge I gain courage. I know that from whence the Spirit came, there it will return. Each night my soul goes to pastures of the Spirit, and there sustains itself and is refreshed at the fountain of eternity. I arise renewed in vigor to face the trials of each new day. MAN 3024 The state of the land has been made known to you, and therefore I ask that you take into your charge the sacred things and writings which are now guarded here. Daily our task grows more difficult, and we live in fear of two-tongued men among us. Also, your servant lacks the knowledge and wisdom that resides with you, and he fears because of his inability to deal with the situation. Now the guarded things can be conveyed to you, though this is beset with difficulties and danger. But if there is delay, nothing can pass out of this land. MAN 3025 Here things cannot change for the better. If you ask your servant to continue with his charge, he can but reply that the floodwaters already lick at the foundation of the walls. The hostile ones gather before us. Can Apawat be kept from his dwelling place or Re from his descent? MAN 3026 Therefore, this goes in haste with Thumas, who has the means of passing through the land. He knows the roads and the waters. The sand wastes do not shut him in. MAN 3027 I leave all things in your hands. May sorrow never stretch out towards you. May you live forever in a form of glorious perfection. Your servant hopes to see you, but submits to his master's will. 3025 Reference Opawat I think I read this someplace. For some reason I'm thinking a water deity, but it refers to the name as a he. So, could be Osiris, the god of the underworld. After all, it says, be kept from his dwelling place. Then there is Re, and it also refers to from his descent. Maybe Egypt's sun god? If this is true, then all oh, my conjecture has to be wrong. I will also point out the next chapter is clearly in Egypt. It is possible that this refers to Israel's fall to Babylon. Maybe the leader is in exile. The letter from Thumas reassured him the writer was safe, and I would assume he would only send scripture to someone who he felt was entitled. Anyway, it is only a what if. I'd like to think all of these are in some order, but reality is, who knows, if each book has been kept in order. Could be a scribe later tried to put them together in a different order, or it could be the book is not ancient at all. My personal opinion is to lean toward it being original, but no way to know. The book has value as a morality tale, for me anyway. It can help to teach people right from wrong. That is why I'm doing the audiobook. These side videos are meant as a way to expand and break verses down into manageable parts. It is a huge book, after all, and many might not relish investing all that time unless they see something of interest.